welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Smoking like a motherfucker, man. I run LA basically south of the 10th. Feed me sandwiches, pets all the time. Balls licked, get some barbecue. I'm feel all goddamn day. Burn shit south of the 10th. 10 times 10 with an S on the end. From the Hunters Black, you ball, vodka, gin. I don't play around these parts, you know what I'm saying? Burn shit south of the 10th. 10 times 10 with an S on the end From the Hunters block You ball, vodka, gin I don't play around these parts You know what I'm saying? I'm a wild animal I'm gonna stab you in your sleep Get your ass out my face Respect my privacy I don't feel nothing I get what I need I'm a wheeler, I'm a dealer Siphon gas from your Jeep I've been outside You ain't shit I piss and shit where I want You better not forget it God damn y'all lazy I never stop hustling Give me something to get something They gotta pay up You could get kidnapped You're under my care Better show motherfuckers respect Uh, yeah Porsche 911 New Corvette That's what I do That's what I've been doing No shit You cannot disrespect me Cannot I want this motherfucker's block Pineapple to the big out I just get shit done 24 seven. Who's number one? Running shit south of the 10 10 times 10 with an S on the end From the Hunters block You ball, vodka, gin I don't play around these parts You know what I'm saying? Running shit south of the 10 10 times 10 with an S on the end From the Hunters block You ball, vodka, gin I don't play around these parts You know what I'm saying? You act like I didn't live outside for three years I live outside Call stepping up the game Yo, when the fuck are we going back to the dog park? I have peoples. Chihuahua. Goofy Gurk. Labradors. I'm Theo all goddamn day. Yeah. Damn it, Man, that's Obi-Wan Cannoli. You know that? Legendary. It's a legendary song. Legend. Absolutely. He, um, uh, it's one of the most amazing, I'm still in, in, in awe of the fact that, uh, he was able to just piece together conversation and make it rhyme and make a song. Yeah, that was hours of you talking. I mean, sorry, as Theo talking just in podcasts, yeah. and then he edited together hours and hours. I saw him, in, I met him in Hawaii. Yeah, I know, um, I remember that. And he told me it took like 20 hours just to do the... Uh, <laughs> Lyric bar, worth, which I think is short. Worth it. Worth every minute. Well, that song is that, amazing. It would have taken me a fucking month. Uh, I would never do it. I wouldn't even. Un- I wouldn't even undertake. It. This is a uh, DJ Noel, aka the Sco. Um, it says Gene Flow by Gene Flows, but his um, his actual thing here says slow fuck. Yeah. I don't know. All right, well, man. He's a slow fuck, or he likes to slow fuck. <laughs> Great question. I'm kind of a slow fuck. I don't like to. I'm a I'm a slow fuck. Yeah. M A. I'm I'm a slow fuck. I am too, and I like to slow fuck. Right. Well, I'm saying I prefer I'm being a slow fuck. <laughs> You're a slow fuck. Um, the moms are coming to Sperm Bank Comedy Club. It's in. Uh, Flapair's Comedy Club in Spurbank, California, also known as Burbank. We are doing your Mom's House podcast live Monday, August 15th. Get your tickets now. Go to TomSegura.com, ThousandRanch.com, or your Mom's House podcast.com and make sure to scoop tickets. It's going to be uh, an evening podcast live in Burbank, Flapper's Comedy Club. Make sure to check it out. Uh, Jeans, what do you got for us? Tons of stuff. I'm coming to Seattle, Meet Rattle, Ooh. at the uh, To Come On Ya Comedy Club, Seal em Shut Come In Me Club. Mm. And then September 28th in Porkland, or Pork A Man's Hole, mm-hmm. hmm, Helium Comedy Club. Okay. And then October 4th, Dallas, Phallus, duh. Yeah, Hyenas. duh. Uh, October 5th, Pustin at the Secret Group, or Huge Dump. Mm-hmm. 
at the 23rd of October, Indianapolis, Morty's Comedy Club. October 24th, Cincinnati, or Shits a Splatty, Go Bananas <laughs> Comedy Club. Yeah. And DC Improv, uh, the 9th and the 10th of December. That's it. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, there you go. Let's see. Big I, things. Yeah, man. I am going... To be in Come All Over Us, Ohio. Come on our bus, Ohio, at the Funny Bone. The C Bus. I've been there before. I always have a good time. OH, please come out and see me, Columbus, at your nice mall. Um, what else I got? Well, I'm doing the Oddball Comedy Tour with a bunch of great comedians. Um, you could possibly see me with Brian Regan. Sebastian Maniscalco. Uh, let's see. Who else is on that? Uh, Bert Kreischer. I think that's how you say his name. Um, he's doing a bunch of dates. Coco Diaz is doing some dates. Um, Eliza's doing some dates. Uh, John Mulaney is doing some dates. It's, it's going to be a really fun thing. Hannibal's doing a couple dates. I'm doing a bunch of cities. Uh, Pustain. Um... Let's see. Worst Harry Palm Beach, Tampon, Nipplesville, Horonto, Hard Fart, um, Cumden, Mount Her Pubes, California, Mommy Asshole Piss, <laughs> Minnesota. So all these great cities. They're all at TomSegura.com. Please get your tickets now. And by the way, the show we added in Fill Her Up Delphia, November 18th is in the last leg. Uh, if you want to get tickets to that, that's going to be it. So make sure you get tickets. Fill her up, Delphia. And uh, Jude Ork Titties is also on sale. All right. Um, that's that. That's the biz- or That's the, the, the dates. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> really? Really? Do you care? Uh, you ready to do the show? Yes. Let's get into it, Jeans. 25-year-old James Sester jumped from this homemade wooden platform off this 30-foot bluff. Oh. Police call this location unsafe and poorly operated. The sheriff even says he wants to shut it down. But the owner, Charles Womack, says he's not going anywhere. I'm just trying to help uh, these high school kids and college kids because they ain't got no money. <laughs> Anybody got time for that? <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Uh, oh, that's good. Point out that I do have a Starbucks cup, but it's full of water. No, oh, stop. Water champ right Stop here. lying. Eggs First, to flow, yo. Stop it. You're such a liar. Look what I have. Full, and I fill this up on our sparklets machine. A- Evian. I said Avion, and someone sent me an email. It's not Avion, like Avian bird flu or whatever. They're right. You talk stupid. You talk stupid, and I have a backup <laughs> LaCroix. Yeah. Yeah. Avion. Hey, can you get me? Right. Can y'all get me a bottle of that there? Every, Avion? Everyone says Avion. What do you say? You don't say Evion. I say Etion. Oh, bullshit. I think it's from the French Alps. I say Etion. You don't even know Evion. what water is. Evion. Who orders the water in this house? I do. I get the Charlottes. <laughs> I get the Evion. Yeah. You don't even, you're not even, you don't even know who, how the water gets who, here. Who, how, what? What? What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? Yeah. Yeah. I liked his little voice and the big he body. Kind of, he's like the white guy version of that, this guy, mm-hmm. you know? Charles Womack says he's not going anywhere. I'm just trying to help uh, these high school yeah. kids and college kids because they ain't got no money. What's going on here? Yeah. yeah. That's him. 
There you go. What do you think happened to his nuts? Do you think he lost I his nuts? I don't know. That, that voice is absurd. You think, you think he jumped off the blue cove a few times and hit his <laughs> nuts on the The last drowning rocks? happened exactly one year and ten days oh, from the one God. year on Sunday. Oh, shit. But Womack says he's not changing any of his rules yeah. here, despite the two tragic deaths. You don't put no lifeguards <laughs> like. I mean, a lifeguard might have been way over here, and that's... Probably two, three thousand feet up there when something happened. Yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't putting no lifeguards. What's going on here? Yeah. What's going on here? That that's got to be one of the worst voices to have to live with. Yeah. I can't even. I can't mimic it. No. It's too high pitched. It's not not it. very masculine. Not like your no. voice. No. Your voice is yeah. very deep and sexual. Yeah. You know, yeah. especially lately, you've really been embracing kind of a sexy dad persona. Put on your glasses. Let everybody see. You you gave me the tag. Yeah. Hashtag sexy dad is mine. Thank you. You always take it and say it's yours. It's mine. Sexy dad. Sexy dad. I'm a sexy dad. What do you think, guys? Do you think it's a sexy dad? I think um, it's sexy dad. I like it. Blue Ben, what do you think? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sexy so dad. unconvincing. <laughs> I don't feel like he finds me sexy at all. <laughs> I mean, sexier than where you started. Really? Yeah. It's an upgrade? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you Damn. look smarter. It's definitely, you definitely look smarter. You look like you just, you can open books, not just close them. Babe. <laughs> like Ellis does that. He'll just close the cover. Uh, uh, I'm like, how about now? Takes after his dad. Is that sexy? You've also been taking up uh, cigar smoking mm. and drinking like, uh, what is it, scotch? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. like dad stuff, too. You've really been embracing this dad identity. <laughs> dad 101. <laughs> yeah. I haven't had, I only had huh. a couple cigars. Actually, no. I didn't. You're not into it now? Cause you no, no. The... I, I bought a bunch yeah. thinking that at the when we had that reception here that I could hand those out to people and be like, you want to smoke a cigar? And Nobody was interested? I forgot to offer. <laughs> <laughs> So now I have like a box of cigars, yeah. but um, yeah. uh, the scotch so thing, funny. you know, it is something that I always wanted to, because you hear about people just having these, I don't know, a, a drink where they're like, oh my God, that's amazing, that quality. Mm-hmm. And at bars that I've gone to or just growing up, I never went for the high quality stuff. You always just drank to get, you know. Ripped. To get ripped, yeah. So And then go poo in your poo pile later. So it's just been fun to explore it a little bit. I just did a little research. I bought a bottle, and um, it was actually delicious. Everybody at that at that party was like, "Can I try that?" Yeah, yeah. So, so does this affect your DJ dad mouth persona? It does feel like a, a very you know a great departure from it, right? But I feel like dad mouth is who I am at my core. Mm-hmm. That's but dad mouth's different than sexy dad. Like I feel like yeah. are these two identities not really. Uh, this is an alter ego. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It, they don't they don't hang out. They don't hang out at no. all. Like DJ Dadmouth is like a cool dad. And then Well, I mean, DJ Dadmouth doesn't <laughs> even fully accept that he is a dad. Right. You know, that's why he's a DJ. Sure. Like he knows he probably has kids. Mm-hmm. But it's not he like care. Yeah, I don't think Dad Mouth is going home for their birthday and stuff. Right, but Sexy not, Dad uh, does. Sexy Dad definitely would. Sexy Dad <laughs> would probably buy a, a sexy present to give to his child on his sexy birthday, you know? Oh, the baby's sexy birthday? Yeah, like the Sexy mm. Dad would be like... Okay. Uh, when, when does that start, a sexy baby birthday? Well... I think Sexy Dad does it from first birthday. He just buys like maybe a mesh top for his child. Oh my God, can, can we play that Instagram video of that guy dancing just your dad? as you're talking your dad over this? On, Please. Yeah, sure. Please. You sent this to me yesterday. I know you posted on Instagram and my fucking brain almost exploded because yeah. it looks... I got it, a lot of texts about that. People were loving that. Oh my God. It's so Let's my see. dad. First of all, you nailed it. Like he's probably doing this right now as we're, as we're talking. Let's see. Yeah. This guy is Holy amazing. shit. For our listeners, I don't know how to describe Well, that's why it. I'm saying... Thing, but talk over it. Just have it playing in the background because yeah. it's so rad. Let me see here. And then we, let's continue the sexy dad discussion. I don't want to lose it. Of course. Of course. Oh, my fuck. There he is. <laughs> Dude, he's so rad. Yeah. I mean, how would you describe uh, this man? It's everything. It's it's the guy who's, you know, the most interesting man in the world, the yeah. beer guy. It's him. Yeah. And he's got a dark, <laughs> leathery tan. Uh-huh. And he's got a gold chain that's got, got, like, dog tags on it. Yeah. 
And then he's wearing a he's got kind like a of wrist wrap thing, a gold and an ankle wrist. one too. Yeah. And this this is like a skirt. He's got like a man skirt on. Well, I think it's a speedo, but then he put like a loin cloth yeah. over it. Yeah. And he's got glasses. And if you he's having like a dance off. Yeah. And he's super cutie. lean. He's got the V like the cock V. Yeah. You know. He looks like a piece of turkey jerky. Oh. Yeah. And they're doing this like grease. Yeah. Dance like you're the one that I want, and yeah. like they taunt, they go back and forth. But it's not classy like that. It's super. No. It's like Ibiza. He's doing, <laughs> he's the, like, doing the European he's like, this moves. This fucking yeah. broad over here. Hey, yeah. He's so European. Yeah. That's why I love it. Like, of course. Look at his. Oh, and then he pr- pretends to punch her. Um, yeah. It's so fucking rad, dude. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, I watch this like. Oh, and the clapping. My dad yeah. claps a lot when he dances too. This Europeans dude's do. Life is just. Is just uh, sunbathing yeah. and fucking. It's my dad. It's my dad's yeah, life. Yeah. It's yeah. Ibiza all the time. Uh huh. This is totally my dad. <laughs> it's this. I feel it's, like uh, if this is it though. This movie. And I don't even know if this guy <laughs> has money. Greatest thing. Or he's the kind of guy that people with money just keep around. You know, right? Like, the party guy. Keep him around. Yeah. Because he's got the best cocaine. Sure. Oh, and then he dares her to a dance off. It's just. He is. The hair is white though, right? Yeah. Yeah. The moves are so European too. Like, it's very European, oh, it's yes. so bad. And they're at a multi-million dollar place, you can tell. Yeah. You know, like Infinity Pool God, and all so white stuff. Fucking, if, you're, if you're not on YouTube, at least look <sighs> at Tom's Instagram and my yeah. Instagram feed. Yeah. You're going to die. It's the best. It's, <laughs> it's pretty great. everything. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Jesus. Let's talk about your sexy dad now. Uh, that is well, not a sexy dad. I know. Burp. Yeah. <laughs> I shadow dance. I shadow dance. <laughs> With my hands, my oh. finger in my ass. <laughs> but the bird is fat. You love that song. I, I listen to it on a loop, too. Well, I mean, you know, we I have watched a, that video and then I listen to that song. I have a make sound machine in front of me. If you want me a to make, pull it up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a magical sound box. Where is it? Do, 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 I shadow dance. I shadow dance. With my hands, uh, my finger in my ass. Was that song? But Bert is fat. Where is it? It's from Zezer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here you go. Ali Zezer. Is this it? I thought this was it. Yeah. This is it. This is it. Yeah. This is it. It's Just great. Let it go. I know. Ali Zezer. Double pipe classic. Double pipe classic. It's really good. Bert is fat. Great rhythm. Bert, yeah. Bert, 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 Bert is fat. Bert is fat. I bet sexy vacation dad. Yep. Gets down to this. My shadow dance. My shadow My My shadow dance. With my Yeah, that's a jam, dude. Classics. Ali Zezer. Z- What's yeah. your pronoun? <laughs> <laughs> Man, last week's episode, I got into it with my parents about pronouns. It was oh, so fun. Right. Just to hear them be like, so are you eat? <laughs> my dad was like, I just like to get to know people's name. <laughs> <laughs> the whole, I think the whole concept just blew his mind. He's like, yeah, I just rather you should ask your name. Yeah. Yeah. Cause that's telling too. Yeah. A name. I go, you know, you say like mm. Zim over there. And he's like, ah, just call him Bob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your pronoun? Yeah. What's your pronoun? How do you like how do you pronoun? Yeah, it's more insulting to ask someone's pronoun. Yeah. That's really rude. Because uh, you're like, uh, I'm obviously a boy. Durr. Oh, lur. oh my God, it's so disgusting. And then your sister was on last week's episode, and Unreal. holy moly. Yeah. The evolution of Maria's concerns. I mean, it used to be Starbucks. Yeah. And then she had a kid. 
two kids. And then now it's all about discharge. Her biggest problem is vaginal discharge (laughs) and semen leaking out of her and like. Yeah. Pussies. And fat people. Like. So fucking fat. Yeah. It's disgusting. Real loathing for fat people. Oh my God, it's so disgusting. (laughs) People are so disgusting. So disgusting. Um, <laughs> that was really good. You know we uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. we use this app by the way DoorDash a lot to get food yeah. delivered to us. We finally <laughs> yesterday I think for the first time ever <laughs> yeah. were defeated by sushi, <laughs> and we didn't realize what had happened was we placed an order. We we actually ordered too much sushi is what you're saying. Uh, for the no, first what time. I'm saying is that for the first we were given. Too much sushi. I don't think we oh. were ordered too much sushi. Oh, okay. Yeah, because remember the, the whole order complication. Yeah, it didn't make sense. So we ordered at like five, and it tells you, it, it tracks your order. You can see the restaurant has your order. The restaurant's making your food. Mm-hmm. A driver picked up your order. A driver's bringing your order. Mm-hmm. And then it says, you know, delivered. So it says like the restaurant's making your food. And then it says the driver's waiting. And then it's... You know, it's 5 o'clock ordered. At 6 o'clock, it says the driver's waiting. 6.15. So now you're like, all right, it's been an hour. 6.30. And so you're like, hey, man, what's going on? And the guy's like, the order is so big uh, that I got to wait. Which, like, by the way, we've heard that tall tale before. Yeah, and you're like, Come It's on, always man. too big. But yeah, the sushi orders, you're like, dude, what are you talking Our about? Our orders are always too big. But they're not that big. You know? Right, but they always cry about how big it is. They do. And then they, they give us like 10 sets of sushi. Yeah. They They're give like, us is this for your party you're throwing chopsticks, tonight? Yeah. yeah. So they gave us, you know, yeah, all the chopsticks. and But usually it's just that we get, you know, I don't know, let's say we order eight or nine sushi orders, a couple rolls, and sometimes there's something else, you know, seaweed right. salad or something like that. So it's always like, I don't know, it feels very manageable. But anyway, this guy's like, well, you know, the order's so big. And I'm like, what are you talking about, man? Then I start doing the, you can DM their customer service. It has nothing to do with the driver. The driver's just there to pick up your food. So it's never really, this issue is not the driver issue. This you know time. I mean? Sometimes yeah. it is. Sometimes so it is. So one time the driver punked out and just decided not to show up. And then another driver came. We've had lots of problems yeah. with this app, actually. I know. I know. And, uh, I'm not a fan some days. Well, I'm really not a fan of their customer service. And what I mean is oh. that I think it's so annoying when you can read the training in a customer service yeah. person. You could, Sometimes you get it on the phone yep. and you just go like, I know you're just mimicking your training. They try to empathize with you. So they, they yes. use the emotional empathy yes. so that they don't actually have to do anything. Exactly. You're like, so, I don't give a fuck if you care about my feelings. I'm sitting there t- like DMing this guy and I go, look, man, it's been this long and I'm not getting an update. Like what's going on? And the first thing he writes is like, I understand how frustrating that can be. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to vomit. Okay, dude. Yeah, just be a I person. Guess. Yeah. And he goes, um, let me see what's going on. <laughs> and I go, it's been this long. And he's like, and he, then he writes me, your yeah. driver's getting the food right now. Uh-huh. Right? There's the exact right, thing. Right, your driver's right. getting the food right now. And I'm like, okay. And he goes, how about I uh, refund like this or that? And I go, what does that amount to? And he goes, $10. <laughs> And I'm like, mm-hmm. okay. And then I go, you know, that's weird because the guy, I actually talked, I had talked to the driver. And I go, well, it's weird that it's ready now because he was saying a moment ago that he has to wait. Mm-hmm. So I call the Which, driver. Which, keep in mind, we've already been, it's an hour. Right. We've waited and usually the food's t- at your house at an hour. Right. So I, it's already been an hour has passed since we placed this order. I call the driver and I go, hey man, do you have the food now? And he goes, no. Like I said, I have to wait because it's so big. <laughs> And I go, so how long are you going to wait? He's like, it's going to be a while. So then I, I message the guy. I go, hey, man, you just told me that the driver is getting the food right now, and he's not. Like, you just said that to kind of dismiss me. Mm-hmm. And you called him out. Yeah, I called him out. I go, and that's not, mm. it's not cool to do that. Mm. And he just he went silent. And I text, I DM'd him. A few, and you can see when, like, when they're writing. It's just like an iPhone conversation. And he just went, he went dark. So I go, at that point, I was much more irritated by him bullshitting me. Yeah. Than. He lied to you. Yeah, he lied. This is with my phone, by the way. So they think it it's is. Me. It's all Christina. So. <laughs> Thank you for that. Then I start a new chat with a new person. And this guy, very nice guy. 
I have to, but I have to refer. I have to inform him of, uh, of everything that happened. And he goes, well, I can go look at that chat. He looks at it, and I'm telling him, the dude, the dude just told me that they picked up the food, but he didn't. I go, it's a lie. It's a blatant lie, and it's irritating. And he goes, I understand how irritating that must feel. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, man, it, it sucks. Um, and I go, so what are you gonna? What I go, your ten dollar credit. It's like a therapist yeah. when they parrot back to you what you I, just I said. Go, your ten dollar credit that. is not sufficient. I don't want your ten dollar credit. I go, look at the amount of times I order. Look at the amount of I spend. It's not cool. We live on DoorDash yeah. sometimes. I go, make it right. And he goes, Especially I'm seeing Sunday. what I can do. And then he goes, what if I could waive um, five delivery fees and then a service fee? And I go, nope. And I know that they, they're big. You can tell. You can read into the training as you read conversations yeah. Yeah. that their main thing is like, don't give people refunds. Right. Don't give out money. So the guy's like, oh, yeah. And he keeps avoiding answering my questions about refund. Mm. Like I go, um, you know, hey, so what's up with this refund? And he goes, I just spoke to the driver. If your food's going to be ready. And he wrote like three exclamation <laughs> points. Like, isn't uh-huh. that exciting? And I go, you're not answering me with the question I just asked you. Because he keeps. Right. He's and he's like, over. I'm working on this for you. And then he asked me something else. And I go, again, can we do the refund? And it just was over and over and over. And then, he, and then you could tell, he goes, I can offer a 50% refund. I was so exhausted at that point that I go, fine. I yeah. go, just take it, take it. Yes. That's why I gave the phone to you because I yeah. knew that it was like an hour it debacle was, it was so to get much your work. money back. Yeah. I was willing to just but take the extra hour away and be like, whatever, dude, just as, fucking give it. In the end, what we didn't realize was that <laughs> <laughs> you did somehow order yeah. a party's worth like, of food. <laughs> Like so, so much, and thank God they gave us a credit because well, what we happened? Spent a though? fortune. What what happened there? I, here's what I think happened. Because when I opened it, I was like, "What the I know. fuck, man?" Well, because I showed you the order in the car. Remember? So here's but what I happened. I was driving, and I was with Baby Jeans. So we're yeah. we're in the car. Baby Jeans is having a meltdown. Yeah, I'm starving. We're about to get on the freeway, and I'm thinking I'm going to order this dinner. I'm going to be a fucking smart mom. Uh-huh. And an hour from now, as we get home, our dinner will be there yeah. and I'll be, everything will be great. So I'm the k- kids crying. I'm there and I'm just like ordering shit. And I hand it to you. Look at this over. Does this look okay? Yeah. You're at a stoplight. Yeah. We don't look it over. And I think what happened is they have this feature where you can look at the last order that you put uh-huh. and you can copy and paste it. And I think I looked at our previous order. Uh-huh. I didn't think that I had submitted it again, but maybe I'd submitted the previous order. And on top of that, a so new order of a massive amount of food. For people that don't order it's sushi. Massive. It was should, massive. Let me tell so people that, yeah. for, that don't know. When you order sushi, there's a, oh God, a, a, a so I don't want to say it wrong, nigiri, right? Nig- a, nigiri, nigiri? How I, do you say it? I think the G is hard. Okay. Like N-I-G-G-E-R. <laughs> there's not two Gs. I-E? There's not two Gs, you Are fucking you racist. Sure? Yes. No, I just want you to pronounce it that way. It's phonetic. I'm yeah. spelling it out. Uh-huh. Big words. Ne- Huh? Na- nigiri. That's what it is. Nigiri. Well, no, right? no, don't yes. wait. So say it the just, way I say just it. The, <laughs> there's nigiri, there's sashimi, and there's sashimi. And there's rolls, right? Yeah. So but like, you know, if you really enjoy the fish portion of things, you're getting sashimi, which is just fish, no rice, mm-hmm. or nigiri, which is a slice of fish on a piece of like a ball of rice, basically, right? So when you order nigiri which is the fish and the rice, and you say, I want one order, that's two pieces. Right. So generally, let's say it's a couple of people, you, maybe you get two orders of a fish you really like, so that's four pieces, right? It's always times two. But like if you just go, oh, let's try this, you order one, you each get a piece. I open, <laughs> they bring in like, they give us like eight styrofoam boxes. It's so massive. I open 20 one chopsticks. And I see... 12 pieces of salmon, just salmon. And I'm like, um, which means that's six orders of salmon nigiri sushi. Open the next box. Same thing with yellowtail. Tuna, I'm like, what did you do? <laughs> so much food. And at first, you know, because we've been waiting long, we're emotional. I'm like, we're going to tear this shit up. Go through a few, uh, you know, a few bites of this, a few bites of that. Was totally defeated by this order. I mean. Took us down. Took us down, not just took us down. 
I refrigerated, you know, fucking a hundred pieces of sushi. <laughs> and then uh, today, lunch, um, before you got here, I opened the fridge. I see six boxes of, yeah. of styrofoam. I ate, I don't know, as much as I could again. <laughs> and I still didn't get it. Because I was hoping you'd go back for your second dinner. Uh, which is usually what so happens tired. with sushi because second dinner is sushi is like air. Yeah, it goes. But through, you didn't uh, go back for second dinner. Too tired, man. Yeah. I'm exhausted yesterday. That was fucking yeah horrible. It was so much food. It was too much. Shit, but man. I still think the guy's a shit dick for Lied lying you. about that. That is that is not cool. Especially from uh, because you know you're gonna get angrier. Actually, if if I didn't know, I'd be even angrier. Yeah. That I that he had been like, oh, your food's coming, and I was like, oh, okay, and then you just sit there. And then an hour later, yeah. I would have been like, hey, where are you? Like, I'm Shit waiting dick. on your food. Uh, I think that guy's an asshole. I think you're right. I think he's an asshole, too. Yeah. I want to find out where he lives. Yeah. Well, thank God we got $400 off our order. Oh, my God. <laughs> Serious. That was yeah, a lot, was I a lot. guess. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. I had an addendum to that. Oh, no. I did not. I didn't. You didn't? You've been, uh, you've been watching Homeland. Oh, my God. You're finally into it. I got to say a couple of things. First of all, I'm, I actually really am a fan of getting into shows a few seasons after they So air. am I. It's really much Once more fun. Once the hoopla dies down and yeah. then you can just like enjoy it. You can watch and, seasons, not just yeah. a few episodes. Like we did that with the Americans, yeah. which was Such so great. Show. And you could just go one season, two season. I'm in there now with Homeland. I'm losing my mind. I'm, uh, I'm almost done with season two. And it's, it's like that's like the, the JV seasons, even I think he disagrees. Remember? Well, that's he, he's a bird. I think one and two are the best seasons. Oh, that's that's what birds always say. Yeah, he watched it on his in his nest. Yeah, I don't think so. I I like the later ones personally. It's like I have theories, but like I don't want to ruin anything. Don't, no, don't, 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 don't say yeah. shit. Mm-mm. But Tom is up now. You know we have to wake up early with this baby jeans. Uh, like I wake up like seven in the morning. Yeah. I usually get up at eight. And you're, you, you've been up fighting the terrorists until one thirty in the morning. I'll be, I'll yeah. get up to pee, and I'm like, you're still watching Homeland. Like you've blown through. Well, I know because seasons, now. and they fuck you because I know they're they're so good with the editing. Because with uh, every episode ends, you're like, oh shit. Like yeah, I know. If it was a normal time of you know of watching it as it aired, I'd be like, oh great, next time. But I have the whole fucking library, I and I just get to go. The what? The library. Yeah. I get to just press the next one on. And then what I've been doing is just cutting myself off. Like last night, I, was, I could have gone to bed so early. I was so tired. And at 1130, it was in the middle of an episode. I, go, I, I just got to, I have to pull the plug. Good for you. I forced myself to turn it's it off. It's a long day. We had a long week. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you had the self-discipline. I know. To pull the plug on the episodes. I, know. I, I know. had to do that too. It's such a, the way that they... They close out one episode. It just it, they're so good. The writing on it, right? It's amazing. It's such a cliffhanger. You're like, oh, I gotta know what da- what's gonna happen to Gary now. By the way, um, what about Abu Nazir? The Abu Nazir storylines. What about Agent Brody? Sarge Brody. It's so great. <laughs> I don't want to give away. I'm I'm just recommending to listeners who maybe have not explored the show to give it a shot. It's really well done. I'm kicking Bitsy right now. Okay. I've got... Oh, yeah. I'm rubbing her belly <laughs> with my foot. She doesn't even care. This is the most easy... She ended up yeah. actually... For a Bitsy update, you know, we got her uh, about a year and change ago, and she was a horrible dog for about a year. And now... That's horrible just, in just a... It's annoying. Annoying way, yeah. She chew, I mean, she still chews a lot of shit, yeah. but just high energy, would never chill. Now... She's pretty good. She, she ended up to being a great dog. She's under my feet right now, and I'm just rubbing her, and she doesn't fucking care. She loves it. She loves it. She's so easygoing. She's using the two paws to grab. She's like, hmm. <laughs> She's a good girl. She's a sweet girl. She still eats um, everything like a dummy. Yeah, she eats they everything. just got diarrhea. I like rocks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They both had diarrhea, these dogs. That's cool. Really cool. Yeah. By the way, uh, Blue Band pointed out to me that when we played uh, Beardo from um, Australia, Teaching a Latin class on how to say bird is fat. <laughs> uh, we missed, we were laughing so hard that we missed a, a little exchange at right. the end of it. I'll play the whole I thing for hear. you right now. Um, That's so bird is fat. fucking funny. So let's say we are describing people in Latin, we're using adjectives. So let's say the adjective obesus means <laughs> Obe- fat. Uh, let's try using that in a sentence. <laughs> so I'll put this on the board. Let's Jesus. say. Bart Chrysler Obesus 
fast. Can everyone say that? Together? Bonds Chrysler Obesus S. Exactly, very good. Who's Bonds Chrysler? Just some huge fat guy. Uh, okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. last week when we played that, we laughed so hard at the kids or you know the class saying it. We missed that. Who's Bart Chrysler? <laughs> Just some huge fat guy. All right. Bart Chrysler <laughs> Obesus S. Exactly. Very good. Who's Bart Chrysler? Just some huge fat guy. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, man! I just talked to Bart a moment ago. I know you. You were. He was saying insane. that uh, when he was in Montreal for the festival a while back. Um, the festival. I bet he got yeah. even fatter eating that poutine. I'm sure he did. Shit. I'm sure he did. But he goes, dude. Everywhere I walked, <laughs> if somebody, if I hadn't seen someone in a while, they'd be like, "Hey, man, Tom is fucking fat." Like, that's how they would greet him. <laughs> just, just, they're like, "He's way fucking fatter than you, dude." <laughs> That was the greeting he got from people he hadn't seen in a year. That you're way fatter than him. Yeah, yeah. No, well, it's patently false, but I mean, I know. But they're you know they're face can to you, face with him. Can you imagine how much fatter he got in M- Montreal when we went last year? I was pregnant, five months pregnant. Yeah. And every ten steps, there's a poutine. There's everything, and you booze. Booth and you, if or you're whatever. not pregnant, you just booze it up all week. <laughs> yeah. And like every night what you do is you do your shows and you guys, you want to get fucking hammered yeah. and everyone just drinks and then you eat on top of that and right. then you go to bed. The late night eating, the yeah. eating before the drinking. I remember every two steps there's a waffle place near yes. it and I would just, you know, oh, he's so much fatter this week after. Oh yeah. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. He's mm. got to be he's one of the fattest guys ever. One of the fattest so, guys in the business is what, is what they say. That's what's on his bio now. Um, and did you see this, by the way? Um, let me pull this over here. You're going to shit your pants. This is fucking real. And no, I did not do this. But it is... Uh, let me see. But, 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 this fat. But, 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 this fat. But, 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 but. Oh, man. Sorry. This is fun listening. I know, but I'm trying to do something just to be a pal. Uh, this is a website. <laughs> it's a, it's burntchrysler.com. B U R N T Chrysler.com. <laughs> and by the way, um, oh yes, you gosh. see that our bird is fat shirt is here. I didn't set this up. What's crazy is that I think someone else made a website, too. What? Really? Is this from the cheat sheet, or is this a different one? No, no. Oh, no. I just... Somebody messaged me this. This is not from the cheat sheet. Because someone made one that looks different than this. Oh, my what? God. There's two websites now? <laughs> and this... And, like, they are linking it... Yeah, they link it to my page. But oh I didn't... Oh, my God. I didn't do this, man. <laughs> Dude, this is That's taking a on site, a life of its own. And it has an About Me section on it. Oh. My and God. then I saw in the end here it goes, he is widely recognized as the fattest comedian of all time <laughs> in comparison to the current water champion and physically fit comedy king Tom Segura. And then it's every hashtag bird is fat tweet. Oh. Why, Why bird's bird's fatter? fatter? Oh my God. I mean, this is a well made website. It's yeah. really well made. It must have used Squarespace. I was going to say. Oh man. That looks like there's, a So there's website. another one? Really? Oh, my God. That is insane. Wait, look at the quote here. Tom Segura is in better shape and a better athlete. He's a beast. Stuart Scott, dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. And they have, like, th- this is, like, on a loop, this video of his. <laughs> what happens when what happens you hit Bird is fatter? I don't know. Oh, it just goes. Oh, okay. Why, Why Bird's fatter? fatter? <laughs> that is unreal, man. So that good. is unreal. That's like when I tell him, I go, dude, you know, it's not, this isn't like. (laughs) Sorry, guys, I got to hydrate. You know, this isn't like, this is way bigger than than me being like, hey, you should do this. Um, A fan made, oh, this (sighs) is the thing you said? Do you see how I'm drinking water right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the other (laughs) website thing you said? A fan. Almost done with that one. The other one's gone. This is is ridiculous. This is the first website that, that he made. <laughs> oh my god. He literally took up website making to make this. Yeah, yeah. What is that picture? Oh, that's me in Kyrgyzstan of all things. Yeah. Next to water. Oh, that's yeah. hilarious. How did oh, that picture end up? Champ 
website. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh. I didn't even know this existed. About Christina has claimed to be the water champion, yet research hardly shows her consumption. <laughs> Coffee, yes. Beer, oh yeah. Some brown stuff that looks like melted poo in a cup. Unfortunately. Um, wow. Wow. This is really interesting. How do people find And they have little details. Yeah. And it's called waterchampionmommy.com. So funny. Wow. Oh, wait, there's water champion. Oh, how funny. And then here's my water. Tom, All our right. current water champ and our main. <laughs> yeah, Bullshit. dude. Bullshit. Yeah, look at that big fucking mug of water right there. Please. Tommy remains our mommy water champ. Tommy's trophy in trouble? Oh, I like that. <laughs> Let's look at that argument. Uh, man, this is really, really cool. Look how fat I was after I had Ellis. Please. Oh, so embarrassed. I am every day. Oof. Oh, and it links to. To Thomas Fat Bird is oh is that probably to the store? Thomas Fat. Here we see. Don't be fooled. The jacket adds forty pounds. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. There's very little evidence that Tom is in fact fat. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Tom <laughs> barely taking up a third of the frame. He is so svelte, wearing the short <laughs> sleeve so we can see his massive pythons, letting the world know not to mess with this mommy. You guys are this ridiculous. Is hilarious. And look at the water background. Bert Car Company that went bankrupt is just downright fat. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah. We have the best fans. Look at this. Look at this. We cannot fit another photo of that. <laughs> That's, that is, as he is too fat and we do not have room on you guys, our page. I'm you guys are hilarious. You, man, that is, we have the best fans. Our show yeah. has the best fans ever. I think. I, I was looking at our, the emails. People made artwork for the Cincinnati Fart. They made that. Um, Instagram meme I put up about mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. when you nut and she keeps sucking and yeah. you get that crazy. Did you face. make that meme? No, no, no. Oh. It was sent in from a list. Oh. I think the uh, Shane Shane McCleary. I think that made was it. fucking so funny. Too. Um, by the way, uh, listener email heel here. Hey, mommies! I recently saw a rebroadcast of Burnt Chrysler's Periscope. In the video called "Working Out," five minutes in, Burnt is wearing some kind of weather balloon suit while claiming to be the real water champ and claiming that little baby jeans Ellis is fake. <laughs> Shocked and in disbelief, I almost spit my water out and loosened my jeans. He was okay. taking a lot of brown, talking a lot of brown, said that Ellis was just a bit. Wow, mommies, <laughs> please confirm this. Is Ellis real? Wow. Love you. Ali Zizer. Oh, it's Ali. Yeah. Hey, Ali, first of all, you're such a talented musician. Thank you very much for all your submissions. We love you. Um, I think if you listened to last week's episode where... We brought baby jeans in the office. He, he barely made a peep, but you can tell there's a little baby in yeah, the room. Yeah, he was sitting on my lap. He just woke up from yeah. his nap, and he just, you know, yeah. fumbled on the mic We've just, I don't know, we've always felt like it's weird to post pictures of your children. You yeah, know? I feel like we're in show business and, and not our son. Like, if he wants to be when he's older, great. Yeah. But I don't, yeah. I don't think it's fair to him to, like... Water champion's also the yogurt champion. Bull, shit your mom. Who brought that up? Bro- Blue Band. I, who brought that I to him? I brought it up earlier. Oh, fucking Blue Band. Who brought that here? It's like watching your parents fight. Uh, Just tell the truth. No one's asking you to lie. Chris, Chris Jeans that brought it up. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. You're such... You lie to them. Mm. You lie. <laughs> Tastes like jujus. It's so <laughs> yummy. Jujus. Yep. That's so stupid. Yeah. When's your colonoscopy? Um, it's on the 16th. Nice. I can't wait. Yeah. Thank you, Ollie. Um, yes, we have a real son. His name is Ellis, and um, he's uh, just eight months old. Yeah, he just yeah eight months this week. Yep, dude, he's he's rad. He's he's the best thing we ever did. Yeah, I mean, I did it. You didn't really do much. Mm, I don't know. My specials, I'm really proud of. Oh, sorry. So, <laughs> what does that have to do with our son? You said the best thing I ever did. I was thinking, oh, your like, your second. career stuff. You think yeah, it's more it's important more, than your son? Than yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, That's healthy. It is healthy, right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Can we talk about? Are you? Are we talking about what? What we're um, doing now? What? I want to tell the story about we're looking at houses. Yeah. <laughs> so we've decided to look to buy a home. Right, because we rent a house. We've right been now. renting it. It sucks. I don't want to have a fucking landlord anymore. It's, it's terrible. Um, remember we saw that house that was such fucking dog shit. <laughs> yes. And like which one? I know. Don't you hate that? Yeah, There's you so walk many in the house. Oh, that's what you're talking about with the and lady. And I was like, let's go. Oh, this is the best. So <laughs> the lady, we walk in the house. First of all, you were behind, but I walked in with our uh, agent. no, no, with the with the showing agent. The showing agent sh- opened the door, and the lady was down there. And the lady looked back. She was like, oh. 
And the what showing, was she like? She goes, oh. Oh. And why was she, she sounded, what, what race did she sound? She goes, oh. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she was Asian, and the, and um, no. made it sound like that. No, <laughs> so she goes, <laughs> yeah, you just did it like that. No, she goes, oh, oh. and oh. the lady goes, I didn't know you were home. You're never home at this hour. And she goes, oh, I'll go upstairs. So we start walking <laughs> around, and you know, we walk through the, the living room. In the, in the dining room, and then we get to it's the kitchen. It's so depressing. Yeah, and you're Don't like, you hate when people like, have depressing houses? Yeah, and it's depressing furniture like and yeah, depressing, stop. depressing, you know, design. From the 70s. Stuff. It's just, yeah, it just Get your bad. life. Don't take some pride in your home. So we sit in the kitchen, God. and then as we're walking through to the stairs, <laughs> he, uh, and I'm glad you did it because I was just going to do the thing where I keep oh, no. going. I'm, and I'm carrying our son. You go, uh, we can just go. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, all right. And she goes, uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, and the lady goes, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> she was acknowledging like, oh, you're saying that downstairs sucks so bad. <laughs> you don't even want to come upstairs. <sighs> oh, okay. Okay. And there was the other one that where we toured funny. the bathroom. I like that. Remember we went upstairs where the guy has shirtless pictures of himself with the children. <laughs> That's so and weird. Sitting on the couch, not like on a beach. Yeah. He's sitting on his couch shirtless with his kids. I'm like, Can I tell you something? Weird. My dad and I did a Christmas card when I'm seven years old. Yeah. He's shirtless in it. And That's... we're standing in front of the fireplace. He's shirtless. I'm standing in front of him at dick level. Yeah. And I'm holding my Cabbage Patch doll. Yeah, and he weird. sent that to our, like everybody. Weird. I got to find it. I'm going to find it and I'll, I'll show you the picture. It's horrible. He, um, Maybe it's... they're European, you know. But that one... We did, we just checked out the master, and I was like, <gasps> they had like dark purple walls and <laughs> just so weird. Weird. There's ledges that don't. You're like, what goes up there? They're like, it's just a design idea. <laughs> and you're like, it looks terrible. <laughs> and we just walk. We go start walking down the stairs. You go, thank you, and that's that's that means like I don't like it, but done. It's like a polite way. Yeah. And that real estate person was also like, oh, <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> they, it's so they're so defeated when you yeah. when your enthusiasm dies, you know. Well, I don't like, like I don't to waste know. my time. It was 110 degrees. You're right. We had the baby. You know, you and I were taking turns carrying baby jeans through these homes and it's not like you can take a stroller if you're no. looking at two-story homes or no. stairs. So we had to like I had to wear the the hippie Moby wrap and oh, yeah. put them in and I was my back was hurting. So I was like, "All right, let's fucking wrap this yeah. up. I ain't fucking around." Shopping there, for a home, we you know, a lot of people buy homes in certain parts of the country, like in their 20s. Oh, my gosh, because you can. Yeah, yeah, we're, you know, I'm approaching, I'm seven years younger than you, but I'm... Bullshit, you fucking lie so much on this show. But I, uh, we've never bought a house. This, we still haven't it's bought a house. It's our first time. This would be, it's a daunting undertaking to buy a house. Uh, it is. You know, one house we saw, you know how it looks great on the interwebs? Mm-hmm. And you're like, this is going to be awesome. And you show up and you're like, motherfuck, they got me. Yeah. They tricked me, and then you go in, and one of them smelled like dog piss, remember? Like, yeah. someone just let their dogs piss all over their house for, like, 15 years. Yeah. What are you doing? How do you let that happen? It's just unsanitary stuff. Like, dude. Or, like, my favorite is on these sites like Zillow. We've been on there constantly where... um they don't hire a professional to take the photo. Like, I'm just going to take fucking iPhone pictures. Those. Like, what are you doing? People should be fucking punished. <laughs> yeah, stop. It's, you see, like, the right thing to do is either just hire someone to or do it. Or use a nice camera, you Use a really nice camera and put up nice photos. People will walk up to their lamp, and snap a photo <laughs> with their iPhone. <laughs> Or a fucking chair. And you're like, what are you doing? Or just the bed. You're like, yeah. are you selling the bed too? Is and, that part of the home? And they'll have the, you know, drapes closed, lights off. <laughs> There's barely light in the room. And they upload that photo. And you're like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? And then you see like 2.9 million. You're like, okay, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I know that's I hope delusional. no one buys your house. So yeah. delusional. You can always tell the house is a turd. I've learned on these on these real estate websites. Mm-hmm. If they do the external shot of the house at nighttime with the lights on yeah. inside, yeah, it's a turd. Mm-hmm. If they lead with the backyard picture, yeah, it's a turd. Sure, that's nine times out of ten. That's what I've learned. Yeah. Now that was an interesting one. Yeah, it didn't sound like the others. <laughs> <laughs> 
said like a person was coming out of your stomach. <laughs> like a soul yeah. escaped. Yeah. No, let's talk about the lead photos. That is a good thing. Yeah. If your lead profile photo <laughs> on real estate is a night shot, a That's pool, what I'm saying. I know, a yeah. night shot, a the pool, pool shot, or um like or no, or if the if your lead shot is indoors. Yeah. That's yes. also that means this place this fucking is a dump. sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, here's the indicator that's good. It's yeah. outdoors. It's the it's, it's the, the picture the of the facade home. of the house. Daytime lit. Daytime. So like, yeah. Noon. It's fucking high noon. Yeah. See what this <laughs> yeah, house looks exactly. like. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They're trying to trick you. Yeah. Sometimes there's like a tree in a corner of the house. You're like, what the fuck are you avoiding right yeah. now? Yeah. You think you slick. You can't you fool me. You slick. Yeah. You no. can't fool me. Uh, okay. Just so you know, I played a black woman on Ten Pin Alley video game 2004. It was my first voiceover gig. Did you know that? It sounded like you were mocking, mocking people right there. <laughs> I wasn't. I, <laughs> and then that sounded like you were. That was mocking. that was a joke. I was being jokey. Okay, that's not my authentic black woman uh, voice. Okay. I have a because different authentic. You sounded like you, like it was. I was offended. Oh, you're offended? Yes. Interesting. Uh, speaking of being offended, my yes. documentary, Can We Take a Joke, came out this week when Tom and I went to yeah, the premiere. Really great, Jeans. I'm so How proud fun. of you. Oh, thanks, you, uh, you, you narrated the film in your... In, Narrated. In your not black voice, in your white, <laughs> alive woman voice. My um, white voice. Yeah, and it, it was... Uh, you did such a good job. Oh, thank and you. The film is really... Really great, especially for comedy fans. And you can start. Yes. It's going on, uh, you know, on demand, all the on demand services. I tomorrow. Think. Is it tomorrow? August yeah. 2nd. You can download it on iTunes. You can watch it on Amazon. You can watch it on direct, de- yeah. on demand everywhere. Yep. It's coming out. Can we take a joke? Can we take a joke? Ted Balaker directed it. And I Eugene's narrated it. Narrates it, yeah. Jim nice. Norton's in it. Lisa Lampanelli. I'm trying to Got remember. Gilbert Goffrey. Gilbert, who steals. The show, I think yeah. he did such a great job, and it's about the First Amendment stuff. It is of speech. a lot of Lenny Bruce stuff in there. Yeah. It's uh, it's really great. Please support this uh, film. I think it's one of the, my favorite things I've ever worked on, besides your mom's house. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. You were so cute at the premiere. You wore your sexy dad glasses. We took pictures. You can see them. Yeah, on my Instagram of sexy dad. Sexy dad doing yeah. a sexy thing. We had like a little date night. It was nice to go out with it you. It was fun. And you did the Q&A afterwards. Oh, was and mortifying. you murdered that. You're, You're sweet. You did great. It was mortifying. I don't like You were the only like comic that. on stage because people were like, that is a good point. And then you were making it funny. Thank you. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. I'd like to stay married to you for another week or so. Well, would you like to stay married to me longer if I were a bad boy? are a lot of things. Smart, funny, reliable, even charming. But a bad boy, you are not. And neither am I. A bad boy is the guy that all the ladies love and all the dudes like you and me, we hate. A look that screams I'm gonna break your heart. And women are powerless against this bad boy bravado. But gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, by creatively utilizing the right accessory, we can trick the shit out of some people. I love it. I love this guy. Remember that guy? are you being serious? No, I'm serious because there was that TV show, Mystery. You love him in a sincere way? No, yes, because here's why. He's right. Women are very... Very superficial. Yeah. No, hear me out. Women are very superficial, oh, and a lot of too. good guys get overlooked because they don't meet the quote look that a lot of dumb sluts look, like. Thank you. The end. You should be encouraging everybody you know to not listen to this guy. <laughs> this is the biggest douchebag of all time. What is wrong with you? No, he's teaching you how to look like a douchebag to attract women. And you think that's good advice? I think in some cases that, yeah, initially some guys need to uh, doll up their appearance to attract a woman. Yeah. No, he's not saying doll up your appearance. Yeah, he's, he's saying, saying that. let's be bad boys and get accessories to do it. What is wrong with no, you? No, he's saying dress like a douchebag and then you can attract the girls to get laid. And again, this is like you're signing off on that. Yeah. Mystery. Remember that TV show? Yes, of course. It's the same thing. Remember he said to have flair? Now, I've already covered how to develop that signature bad boy look. So you've got your bad boy signature style. I love That's it. great. But accessorization is <laughs> accessorization. the key to putting the icing on the bad boy style oh cake. <laughs> accessorization. But you're, you're not cringing at this guy? Really? No, because I think he has a point. And I think he's absolutely right. I want to meet I somebody think, new. I need to meet him. What are you talking about? You're just about? jealous. Can I point something out? What? I think you're just jealous 
because you're a sexy dad and you've learned how to sexify your dad appeal. Like and this guy's figured it out for the single guy. Oh my God. I'm just, He's right. Some boys need help. Th- they don't need this help. How do you not, how can you not tie that together? <laughs> this isn't the help you know they need. Blue band could use like a, a no. leather cuff. No. God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, All right. So first let's go over some bad boy <laughs> accessory. <laughs> don'ts. Bad boys don't wear yeah. toe rings. If you're currently wearing right. a toe ring, turn the video off and go change your dress because bad boys, oh. they don't wear toe rings and they most certainly don't wear ankle bracelets. True. Yep. That's great. Advice. Are you a bad boy, Tom? You, uh, I have 10 <laughs> toe rings on right now. <laughs> As a general bad boy accessory rule of thumb, I would say avoid accessorizing anything below the waist. The exception would be if you have your junk pierced. And I'm assuming also that if you're man enough to pierce Big Al and the twins, you're probably not watching my videos. You, my friend, are a bad boy through and through. You're the guy parents are worried about. Congratulations. God, he's the worst. I want to fucking vomit in my mouth. I think I also just... I think he's cute. I'm into it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never been so turned off by you in my entire just life. Kidding. Um th- The way he even says, bad boy, hey. you're a bad boy. Are you a I bad feel like, boy? I feel like he just wants to stick his dick in, like, in, in some dude's mouth right now. He's like, no, I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad boy. Yeah. Okay. You don't sense that here? No, I don't get that. But if that's what you see in the uh, collage, then I'll let you see that. You know? We project what we want to see. You don't see think what you want to see. He's just Sakura. like, uh, get over here and suck this dick right now. I mean, that's what you want to hear. For, yeah. Fine. That's what he wants. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Maybe you want to suck his. <laughs> can't believe you're into this complete no, 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 I'm not. fucking douchebag. So what is he advocating? He's saying that he's trying to be help. a bad boy. And if you want to be a bad boy, get some fucking wrist. Fucking. Are you kidding me right now? This, Can I tell you something? You can't you're right. teach. He's a douchebag and bad boys are douchebags. But he's saying if you want to get laid, you kind of have to bad boy. It no, up a no, there's you, you totally don't get it. There's two. Oh. There's oh, oh. there's genuine dudes who are douchebags. Some are douchebags. Some there are also like just actual badass dudes out there mm-hmm. where it's not a play. Like it's really who they are, right? You can't mimic that. You can't teach that. You when you copy that, you're a douchebag. Like right. you're trying to copy the guy who's genuinely like that. Like you know, like rock stars are like fucking right they're, they're real deal but they're, they're real they're deal. rock stars yeah exactly Steven tyler and then like when you try to mimic a rock star's yeah persona you look like an asshole of course you, you don't have that swag inside of you right. that makes you that cool right. right so this guy is basically being like you should do that you should try to imitate actual really cool naturally cool people which is like the grossest thing you could do and you're going to make people even douchier than they are the ones that sign up to do something like that you know that try yeah. to that try to imitate but i thought he said the in the beginning worst. that girls dig bad boys and he's going to show but you they're going to go for the real bad boy they're well, going to no, go for here's them. the thing though just hear me out hear me out yeah what if there's a guy who's a sweet guy but his gears all whack but he doesn't need this. This is what bad if, what advice. What if just a little piece of flair? I'm not yeah, talking right. like, like not a leather cuff, but just like put some, do your hair nicer. But that's you know, a different video. Cool. That's not this video. That's not the bad boy video? No, no. Well, that's the video You're, I want. I, I want to see like, just help these nerds, you know? Yeah. Uh, that, help this nerd. That's I, the video I want to see. That's a totally different video though. That's That's the tell is everybody out there. It is. You said that like your sister. Pierce theers. Another sort of on the fence bad boy accessory. All right. Now, some guys with the small gauges look super tough, but I am not a fan of stretching your earlobes because eventually, if you stretch them too much and you decide that you're not mad at your mom anymore, your earlobes are going to look like stretched out buttholes and require (laughs) surgery. All right. (laughs) Not bad. Nothing says bad boy like a super cool ring. Rings are not only a great oh accessory, god. they're a great conversation starter. Oh my god. Yeah. Just for the record. Come on. <laughs> Just for the record, I hate bad boy. You know that. But yes, I would, sir. I've never dated a guy that wore a ring with an M. Sure. Yes, yeah. yeah, I don't see that at all in his energy, but 
You keep playing what you want. <laughs> but in my personal opinion, there is no better way to say, yo, I'm a bad boy, even yo. if I'm not one, oh than God. wearing cool bracelets. Bracelets are a great way to accessorize your wrist in a super cool way. He's right. You can right. do it in casual clothes, but you can also do it in dress clothes. No, you can't. It sends the message, yo, I'm a bad boy, that looks what's terrible. up, I got bracelets on. Don't what? be afraid to wear multiple bracelets on the same wrist. And mix your materials, all right? You got leather. This is just a simple <laughs> leather cord oh that I wrapped a few times around my wrist. I've got some cool beaded bracelets and these are super easy to make yourself. I actually did a video where I show you and teach you how to make these beaded yeah. bracelets yourself. There's a link down in the description. Combine those bracelets with the super cool Thank watch you, and you are bad boy perfection. Oh my God. I, only, I can only hope that he just has a bracelet company and that's what this whole I thing was so. about. It basically is how to be a douchebag. He's he's telling you how to look like a douchebag. The leader bag. of all the douchebags. <laughs> Nothing says it like a bad boy. Like his fucking horrific. <laughs> uh, what is bad that? Boy. Like that northeastern, uh, uh, North Atlantic accent. Like bad boy. The bad boy. Then bracelets. <laughs> Bra- See these leather things here? I just put them on myself. Fucking A, man. It's really easy to make. My name is Joe Kramer, and I'm a massage instructor. <laughs> With this self-anal massage... <laughs> You can reclaim an important part of yourself. Oh, yeah. We haven't played this video in so long, mm-hmm. but it came we, to our attention. We never did it with the video. We couldn't see it. Oh, right. Now yeah. we can see now this you can guy. see this wonderful No, man. little babies enjoy their assholes. <laughs> when you were very young, you had no shame. You certainly didn't carry tension in your sphincter muscles. We were taught that there are places on our body that we should avoid. And the asshole... Is at the top of the list. Well, for obvious good reasons. I mean, yeah, but I do wish you would explore more. Dirty stuff comes out of there. I really wish you would. (laughs) You know why? Because that's your bad boy. That's where bad boys like fingers to go (laughs) in dirty places. Till I was 30 years old, I hated (sighs) my asshole. Hated it. A non stop inflamed hemorrhoids. Not fun. Well, that's why you hate it, dummy. surgery on my asshole. Breathing asshole. techniques demonstrated in this asshole. video. I have relaxed <laughs> this, and healed my did, asshole. Why does he keep I saying don't know. Asshole. Stop saying asshole, weirdo. <laughs> and his mustache doesn't help matter because either. Because he's talking in, like, clinical terms. It's my like, asshole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Massage Why can't he just say my, my massage my anus or I don't know. I don't know. I recommend clenching your asshole <laughs> in rhythm with your breathing. That's, I'd like to show you four it's different dubbed, right? anal That's breathing what it is. rhythms. I don't know. Let's I think see. this one was edited out of order. Right, but I'm saying is the joke here like <laughs> is the thing how this video got like he was saying anus and they they made it sound asshole. like asshole? Uh, that's a good question. Maybe they just took know. asshole from a different part right, of the video. Right, and then just <laughs> dropped it because it's really, really ridiculous. Uh, that he's like, I never had any experiences with my asshole. <laughs> the first is just a sigh, a deep breath. Do right now. <sighs> On the inhale, clench. And on the exhale, relax. No, oh, thanks. Yeah. <sighs> I would love to see you make love to this man. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. I can't take it. Him? Who, would I, you take him or the bad boy? The bad boy. <laughs> I can't do this. Why? This is just... You experience so much more pleasure with nerd him. Nerd city. He would totally get you your asshole tingling and you'd take his asshole. I don't need my asshole to tingle. The next breath oh, is God. faster. And clench faster. All the efforts on the inhale. Uh, Do it, Tom. Go to practice before your colonoscopy. How does it feel? I feel a fart coming. (laughs) Do it, do it. The third breath is a step (laughs) breath on the inhale, a double step. So it's like this. Really and you have two steps in your clench. How do these people... Can I tell you something? A lot of time, right? A lot yeah. of time. Yeah. What the fuck do you have time to worry about sure, your you're asshole? completely mm-hmm. relaxing on I don't exhale. have time in my day to worry about Often we how I've ignored my asshole. When we think we're relaxing. This asshole has too much time on his hands. On his asshole. He ain't got no wife, no kids. The last no breath job. is a flutter, a very fast breath. 
do about 15 with them. Oh, please. This makes me... You do 100 anal breaths a day, (laughs) you will start to let go of anal tension. Mm. But if you're interested in high levels of well-being, I recommend 500 to 1,000 anal breaths a day. That's a lot. Yes, 500 to 1,000. That's a lot of anal breaths. That's a lot of just time spent with your asshole. Can I tell you You how the bad boy video angered you? Yeah. This angers me. Really? And I hear more, oh, thank you, sir, from this guy than the other guy. that's a little obvious. I don't recommend doing all thousand without a break. This angers Your me. Your anal breaths in sets like a weightlifter. Yeah, see? The mustache. the mustache. The mustache. Mm, the anal brit. Yeah. You know, For many men, massage of the rosebud uh, is complete up. in itself. Oh, yeah. When the sphincter muscles have been stretched and relaxed, oh. there's total satisfaction. Nice. Nice. Total satisfaction. Yeah. Do you miss your foreskin? Do I miss it? Do you miss it? Like, you know how there are men that like, I need to reclaim oh my, my God. foreskin. That and then, movement, the foreskin movement. And then they yeah. pull it using pins and stuff. <sighs> That's God. what I feel like this is like. There's a, protesters now that do that. To circumcision. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's a whole movement and not to circumcise. And they're like, I wish I had had a choice. <laughs> <laughs> no one gave me a choice. It's true. Tom. They brutalized me at birth. Just like your gender assignment. Yeah. Someone called you a boy. Now you're stuck with that. And someone gave I'm you circumcision. Stuck with it. <laughs> you're stuck with that. How I, dare they? I wish you guys hadn't done that to me. <laughs> Do you miss it though? Do you really? Is that a thing for you? No. Never think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I pull on what's left of my botched circumcision. It's not botched, babe. It looks great. It doesn't. I'll put a picture online. You can tell me what you think. <laughs> but he's like reclaiming his asshole. Asshole. He's saying that he was. How do you say? Asshole. That he was robbed of his asshole pleasure right. and he's reclaiming that. Yeah. Like it's important to him. Mm-hmm. See, that angers me because I feel like his priorities are way out of whack. Yeah. Like you don't you don't have a family to focus on or friends or dog yeah. to walk. So, something in your life besides reclaiming your anal pleasure. <clears throat> that makes me mad when people are like this much of a loser. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> He really knows let's, how to make... Let's focus on some shit that matters, okay? He really knows how to... Yeah. Um, yeah. Enjoy his asshole. Yeah, thing. people can't uh, have access to fresh drinking water. Uh, there's starving children. That doesn't mean you should ignore your a- asshole. Animals being abused. You there's shouldn't an, ignore your asshole, though. million other causes you could take up, bro. Jesus um, Christ. By the way, this is a real commercial. Commercial meaning they filmed it and put it up. Uh, a car company, a, a car. Yeah, they just up. like it didn't. Not only get aired on TV, but they they put the phone number and everything. And I think it's in Kansas City. Hmm. Um, we got Grand Marquis, fifteen hundred dollars. Maybe that's special. This is great. Grandma special right here, fifteen hundred dollars. We got e, We even got a you fix it part, right? You fix it. We got shit with bumpers hanging off of it. <laughs> We got a lot of shit. If you want to fix we got a lot it, we'll sell shit. it to you. It don't matter. Uh, just make sure you bring somebody down here with you. Because we all sell this shit as is. Now, we drive it. We test drive it. We change the oil. We do what we can to make the shit happen. <laughs> right. But three months down the line, I don't want to hear about no alternators. You got a flat tire. Your brakes don't work. Look, fuck that. We sell a motor <laughs> transmission, all right? As long as that motor ain't blowing up yeah. or that transmission ain't fucking slipping, don't bring that shit back tripping, all right? Yeah. Bring your baby daddies. Bring your grandpas, your grandmas. Bring any motherfucker you want to bring to check these motherfuckers out because we don't want you to bring this shit back complaining about nothing. Cash cards. 6707 possible. <laughs> okay. That's tight. Um... That's, that's a, how DoorDash should be. To get right. That's how I wish they were. <laughs> we might get your shit on time. We might not. Yeah. Uh, it's Look your problem. Man. Not my problem. Did you get your food? <laughs> not my job. Oh, it is Kansas City. Yeah, he's got his Casey yeah. hat on. Yeah. Um, it's real not my job. I really, I, I really do appreciate that directness. I do too. Always have. Yeah. It's a, it's an honest car salesman. There are, there are none except don't for him. Don't come here fucking your, with your <laughs> bullshit. I don't want to hear that shit. Right. No, don't come crying about your alternator. Wait, what was that again? Don't come crying about your alternator. It sounds like you're mocking somebody. Not mocking anybody. I was just doing a silly voice, Tom. <laughs> 
I'm a voiceover artist. I do several silly That's voices, true. which That's I like to true. hear. I do many voices. Yes, I would like to hear. Boop, 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 boop. There you go. Wow. Professional, cartoon, voiceover artist. Can Thank you do another you. one? What do you want? Do a nerd. It's a chicken. Wow. That was really good. Thank Can you. Can you do a horse? <laughs> wow. Wow. That is really impressive. Thank you. Uh, want to hear a goat? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. sound effects from the first song that you made? No, that was just from the Apple computer, but I can do them as well. Can you well. do a nerd? Yeah, I'm not doing that one. That's what? an actual character that I do in my repertoire, so. So? <laughs> do it, Stuart. Do no. it. No. Why? I'm doing the real voices. No. Come on. No. Now. I have to pee. Can I pee? Pee right now. Pee in your seat. Okay, go ahead. Uh, how was your pee? It was good. And you know what I was thinking is that you might be the master of accents, mm-hmm. but I'm the master of animals. Yeah, you, yeah. You send in the animal you want me to do and I'll do wow, it. Wow, what a call. That's all I'm saying. Whoa. You, you want to hear a zebra, Man. I'll work on it, you know? Just the way you threw your Giraffes. hands up there. It's really fucking intimidating. Coyotes, um, hedgehogs, I'll work on it. Oh, by the way, somebody said, um... My name is Jim. In regards to a few weeks ago in the podcast, a man claimed there are no people in Benning, Billings, Montana, as fat as Tom Robert. I have lived in Billings my entire life, and I promise there are people here even are, fatter than I've Tom Robert. Although with Bert, it is close. <laughs> However, there are no comedians here as fat as Bert because he's the fattest fucking comedian. Oh, Jesus Christ. oh my God. <laughs> Good luck, guys. James. Uh, Jeez, thanks, James. James. Um, Watergate theory. Hey, Schitt- Schittlers. Um, hmm. uh, after hours upon hours of research and film study, the recent controversy of who the real H2O champ has come under question. I myself am an equal opportunity mommy lover. But it seems that the polls lately may have been skewed. Buns declared himself water champ. Thank you. And I call bullshit, Tom. Okay. I was recently watching episode 346 on YouTube before any of the water scandal was brought to light. And it's mm-hmm. clear as day Tom sat through a whole episode without so much as a sip <laughs> of H2O. Okay. That's None what I'm in talking sight, about. as a matter of fact. While mm-hmm. Mommy C had a glass of brown. Interesting. And a glass of water, okay. even though she was taking Yorkies. Not cool. I know this isn't a significant piece of evidence, but it I is. thought I should bring it to the table. See something, say something. I love it. <laughs> Yours truly, Derek. Thanks, Derek. Thank you, Derek. <clears throat> I'm glad that finally... More water. You know what's going to happen is that the truth will come out eventually. Your propaganda, uh, you you know, one time had Blue Band bring you a gallon yeah. of water before the show... And, you know, this showboating nonsense. Yeah. The truth is, there, this is a marathon. The yeah. water drinking champion, and I will prevail. You think so? I am prevailing. I drink more water than you. Okay. Constantly. I hydrate constantly. All right. I feel like it's not even close, but okay. okay. Time will tell. Thank you for writing that in, Derek. Thank you, Derek. A shadow dance. A shadow dance. Here we go. Floss them shits. Dental updates, everybody. We got a few. Oh, good. It's been a, a while. A lot of people have been writing in about their dental updates. Hi, mommies. A few weeks ago, Christina mentioned a crown that seemed a little bit wobbly and was concerned about popping it off flossing. I recently had a crown installed, and this is what my dentist told me. You can still floss, but after you push the... He's a dad. He doesn't know that we've already covered this. You covered this? Remember I said that I I read this email. Yeah. And... Oh, it was on Patreon? Okay, never mind. I, Uh, I read this email, and I... But continue. I'm sorry. I didn't realize we didn't do it on the regular show. Okay. Uh, you can do it in between. Just don't move it around. Don't pull it. All right, right. Straight back through. All right. So what he's saying is when you floss around a wobbly crown, you just put the floss down yeah. and then run it through. Like you pull it out. You don't okay. pop it back up. So I've been doing that. It's really helped. Thank you. Okay. Well, that was I started doing that on this person's advice. Donica. Donica. Yeah. Donica. By the way, the Patreon show, uh, the newest one is fucking 
fire. Yeah, it's so fun. Thank you to everybody that signed up. If you haven't signed up, it's Patreon. Put that shit down. Patreon. Put that shit down. Dot com slash mom. Patreon dot com slash mom. And um, yeah, bonus episode went up today, mm-hmm. right? Well, August 1st. Yeah, August 1st. And um, there's all kinds of different tiers and different prizes. And the uh, 20, $20 people this month mm-hmm. get a commemorative poster. Yeah, if you oh. signed up before August 1st, then uh, you get that Cincinnati Park poster. Yeah, which isn't, we have it online yet? I don't think we have it. Not on. yet, but we'll, we'll post it soon. Should we show it right now? Sure. Yeah. I have it up on my Twitter account. Here. A shadow dance. Can you? All right. Look at that. Look at that fucking thing. More chairs made this. Rob. It's great. Unbelievable, man. Yeah. I love it. It's like a greasy Mad Magazine yeah. style. Yeah. I just, I love this so much. So cool. Um, all right. More dental updates. So I have a dental update. I haven't been to the dentist in two years. Oh. Not because I don't like the dentist. I love keeping my choppers clean, but because I left college, mm-hmm. moved cities, looking for a job, dental insurance to go with it. Well, now my new brand of dental insurance, I found a new dentist for a checkup and a cleaning. I was already a little wary of a new place. Uh, trying to pull one over on me. And as I was filling out my paperwork, a woman came in to complain about billing. On her way out, looked at me and whispered, be careful. Not a good sign. After doing x-rays and a quick exam, the dentist started telling me I had periodontitis. Mm, That's expensive. That's gum disease. Is that how you say it? Periodontitis? I think so. Sounds like a dinosaur. Yeah. Even though my teeth were... Work well within the healthy depth measurements for gums. She also told me that because the plaque buildup on my teeth required the use of dental tools, it would constitute a deep cleaning. Oh bullshit! Which would cost me three sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The deep cleaning. Dental racket. tools is extra. I got out of my chair and screamed, "Do your job, sweetie. That's your job. Do your job. That's your sweetie. job, sweetie. Sweetie." She continued to tell me I had three cavities oh, and would boy. need them fixed immediately. An extra $180 each. When I told her I wanted to oh. go home and think about it, they tried to pressure me into doing it right there. Oh, get your life. Even offering I could do a cleaning for half today. <laughs> okay, there you oh. go. That's a racket. I'm not going to walk around with half my face looking nasty like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Having listened to many a dental update segment, I knew this was a scam dentist. Needless to say, I got the hell out of there. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for a second opinion. I'm going to take Tina Jean's advice. And look for an Eastern blocker dentist that's the real deal, not going to screw me over, keeping them high and tight. Tori, way to go, Tori. Um, Don't let those fuckers have, like, they'll drill into your head to make a few hundred bucks. Terrible. You won't even need it. And the fact that he said it's only been two years since his last visit, you don't have periodontal disease, I don't think, in just two years of not seeing a dentist. There's this thing, too, um, when you get dental insurance, and you get and you know oh then plan, they see yeah they they rack it up they will rack that shit up and yeah if if you if you know if you take care of your your dental hygiene pretty well like you're somebody who kind of you know flosses regularly brushes your teeth take and you go in and there's just this all these things they want to do yeah, I bullshit. would always check it out somewhere else bullshit bullshit bullshit. Um, but they tell you you got multiple cavities. I would take it somewhere else too. Absolutely. Take those x-rays somewhere else. Ask to have the x-rays and take Dude, them. Dude, check out this one. I wanted to share my Ooh. dental update with you. Yeah. Um, since your dental update segment inspired me to go to the dentist recently after over 15 buttery yellow years of avoiding it. <laughs> oh, shit. 15 years. Oh, that's when you get the periodontal right. disease. Right. <laughs> While I brush my teeth every day and use mouthwash, I have never ever floss these shits. Oh, no. But since my wisdom teeth started growing in, I spent years in pain. Uh-uh. With each passing year, my teeth hurt more yeah. and more. I became convinced that they were rotting and riddled with cavities. Finally, the pain was so intense, I cracked, went to the dentist. Turns out, I definitely need my wisdom teeth out. All four have grown in. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're crowded, but what is a maze is they took a panoramic x-rays, and I have Zero cavities. Wow. The dentist said, I have perfect teeth. Thanks for helping me work up the courage to face my dental fears. Mm. Next step, whitening so yes. I can have pearly whites like, like my Christina. main mommy, Tina. Uh, and that's from Jenny. Not Tom. Thanks, Jenny. Good for you, Jenny. Good for you. You Good know, for you. 15 years, there's nothing to be afraid of, guys. Yeah. You know, they numb you. What, what you're afraid of is a shot, maybe. That, that part's a little uncomfortable. Yeah. And your wisdom teeth coming out, that sucks. I'm not going to lie, Jenny, but you get painkillers. 
and you'll be right as rain you'll be, you'll in a couple cool. weeks. You'll be fine. And then you can get back to your workouts. Good job. Let's go ahead and keep moving. We're going to lunge to the side for one. <laughs> one, squeeze your abs. <laughs> Two. Three. Fucking <laughs> I love it. Remember when we played? It made me, reminded me of how hard I laughed when that guy got hit by that car in the uh, garage. Do you remember that? Yeah, I found that really troubling. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why was that so funny? Look at you reliving it now. I know. I was just thinking about. Huh. It. I haven't laughed that hard in a while. <laughs> Because oh, yeah. someone got hurt. The guy goes, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Ooh, shit. Look at you. <laughs> Violence. Oh, man. I'm surprised you shared that good time in your uh, head just now. Yeah. Because lately you've been having fun thoughts. Yeah. And then you don't share them with me and you'll... Like last night we were getting ready for bed. Mm-hmm. And you were having so much fun. Yeah. And you were having good fun thought times and you were like laughing to yourself. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, what's the joke, Tom? Tell me. Tell, just tell me. And you're like, yeah. no. Yeah. No, I don't want to share with you. And then you pushed well, me and pushed because, me and like, pushed me. Then don't make such until... a fun time about it. Then keep it to yourself. You, you can't just sit there laughing and smiling and then not share the joke. <sighs> Man, why can't I do that? Because it's fucking rude. We're comedians. It's rude. You have to let me know what you're laughing at. It's a professional courtesy. Man, it was. Oof. It wasn't even a good one. All right. I, I, you made me tell you, and I told you, and it wasn't even. And good. And I liked it. I liked that you, you shared. And you're like, tell me, tell me, tell me what you're thinking right now. What are no, you? No, I said, tell me what you're. What are you getting joy from right now? Because I hate when you have joy and you don't share the joy. <laughs> it's not fair. And I needed some joy. I was tired. Yeah. Here, I found it. This is so funny. Remember this? This is somewhere. Yeah, I don't think it's that semi, funny. It's like, uh, it's like, I don't know. Where is that? Not America. Somewhere in Asia, right? So the car is rolling into this uh, garage. It's kind of slowly making its way in. You can tell there's like a little bit of a speed bump <laughs> or something. And then it's like, I, I don't like rolling on to the, uh, the guy's back there on his clipboard. It's like backing up and you can tell the guy's revving it. Yeah, see, Blue Band doesn't think it's funny. <laughs> Blue Band's looking at you the way I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm missing the funny here. I don't... This man just probably got his legs broken. <laughs> it's not. He's in pain, babe. It's not funny. His legs are broken. He can't stand. He's collapsing because his legs are broken and. This is the best part, though. So he does this. He's like, I got this on. This other guy, he's like, what's up? What's up? Like, you need something? He's screaming. He can't Look stand up. Look at his up. concern. Look at his concern. Yeah, this guy. I know. Okay. It's, it's terrible. Huh? You drop something back there? And he just walks away. <laughs> it's a shitty friend. Whew. Okay. Well... He's still on the floor and he's writhing in pain. He's back. Your hand? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he dropped like a like a like a business card earlier. He's like, right. where, where did I put that? <laughs> <coughs> the guy can't get up, babe. He's all right. He's not so, all right. He's not popped up yet. He 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 comes up later. He's not. Look at the title of the thing. It's not even funny. It doesn't say funny anywhere. I don't know why you're laughing. Uh, crushed by car. Yeah, man gets crushed by car. Can't get up. He's <laughs> paralyzed from the waist down, and and you're dying of laughter. Oh man, dude, this is why I do think you're a serial killer. It's moments like this. TV like, News reported the guy is fine. You're gonna, That's what it says here. Mm-hmm. It does. You're gonna murder me in my sleep. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 
Blue Man's not laughing <laughs> He's with laughing. you. He's laughing at you I'm right now. I'm laughing at how you're laughing yeah. so hard at this crazy Why? Thing. Because it's not normal. Oh, yeah. It's not funny. No. <laughs> at all? The no. The video isn't. It's a guy getting run over by a car. <laughs> <laughs> and you find it hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> well, See? it's he goes, ah. Ah. Right, because he's in pain and he's a foreigner. He doesn't make yeah. the same sounds an American would. And uh, again, okay, this. Oh my God, here's you're some such comments. a psycho. You need to tell your therapist about this. Will you please, please bring this up in therapy? He goes. I lost it at the part where he backs up and the dude falls on the floor. LOL. That's a comment underneath there. Um, That's you. Yeah. Did you just? No, it's yeah, not. A liar. People are like, "Wow, man! I hope the car isn't hurt." <laughs> Um, no, don't don't try to look for evidence to support <laughs> your mental illness. You have problems. Why, why do I have problems? Because it's not it's not supposed to be funny. I don't babe. think it's funny that a guy got hit by a car, but I think his reaction was funny. Okay, those two are kind of inseparable. Like it's he's reacting ah. because he's in mortal ah. pain. Ah. Ah. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> God, you're laughing like an 80-year-old well, smoker. Reactions, reactions are funny in those situations. Like when the guy kills that hooker in that uh, All right, Henry I gotta movie. I got to go. I can't. Are we done here? Is this done? No. What's your problem? What is your problem? That was funny. Oof. I haven't laughed that hard since the first time I saw that video. <laughs> ah. Ha. Ah. Whew. I feel like getting some fucking leather bracelets today. I feel so. Oh good. my god, you should. You're a bad yeah. boy. <clears throat> what is this? I don't know what this is even. I'm gay. I'm a lesbian. I am actually pansexual. I am transgender. I'm the water champion. Hashtag Brody's fat. <laughs> Hashtag white. Who made that? Did you make that blue band? I did not make that. I think I think Patty C made that. Okay. That she made me part of a. Uh, Wow. A movement. Yeah, part of a movement. Thank Holly, you, Patty. Bye, and, and you think you're the water champion. And this is for. Mm-hmm. Hawking! 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 I love it. That's great. That's great. That's great. That is great. Who is that? That is that, that is Brandy? In These Streets by Brandy, Roz Ryan, and Jennifer Lewis. Really, Brandy? Yeah. Is that like I think that's Brandy. Brandy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, Mike, Looks like her. That's not Brandy. It sure is. No, Look not. at that face. It's Brandy. Oh, my God. That is not Brandy. Yes, it's it is. It's just a woman named Brandy. No, it's Brandy. No, Brandy. it's not. You've, have you never the seen Brandy? The boy is mine. That's not Brandy. You got to give it up. No. Yaha. Uh-huh. Ner. All right. Ner. No. No. That's not. <clears throat> oh, my God. Anything else, James? No. No? You have nothing else? People wrote in and let, let me know that, you know how I, a while back I was talking about Gordettos and how they should only have the tasty chips, the rye chips in there? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is a product that you can just buy the good pieces. Oh, wow. That's, thanks for letting me know. That's a huge update. Mm-hmm. People can get just the chips they like. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's important to me, guys. Okay. Good to know that. Um, anything else here? Let's see. I do think this was so great. We should play uh, this again. Why is Bert Chrysler so fat? Bert Rauer. Kurva. Looks like a Bert Chrysler is the key Bert Chrysler, you are a fat cunt. Uh, <laughs> you're a fatter cunt than Tom Segura, mate. I love it. <laughs> International. <laughs> International is really, That's really, laugh. really good. Good job on that stuff. Oh, I was going to mention mm. the other day, you and I were play hitting each other. Yeah. And you do this thing where, like, if I pinch you or hit you, yeah. then you get me back twice. That makes you feel good. You get me back double for the pinch or the hit. Yeah. But you did this thing the other day where you pinched me and you hit my arm. And then you're like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then you went to rub it. 
Yeah. But then the rubbing made it hurt more. Well, that's what you said, but that doesn't make sense. <laughs> so what happened was <laughs> I pinched you to get you back, and you're like, ow, that really hurt. And then I yeah. went to rub it, and you're like, that rubbing hurts more. But the more. rubbing makes the pinch hurt more. No, the rubbing I don't know makes why, it go away. No, rubbing. No, it felt better. <laughs> <laughs> rubbing always makes the, the ouch part, the owie p- place hurt more. No. Everyone knows that. No, everyone knows that rubbing makes it feel better. No. Oh, that hurts? Let me rub it for you. No, dum dum. Kissing it makes it better. Rubbing it hurts more. No. Mm-mm. You're very uh, malicious with the play fighting. If I pinch you, then you get me back sometimes two or three times more. I like to get you back with the pinches and stuff. I like to pinch and twist, too. Like, I'll grab real That's soft parts. Mean. And turn it and I And I squeeze it as hard <laughs> as I can. But you do it double or triple the amount that I gave you, and that's not fair. Well, that's how to make sure you get somebody back. I mean, that's the whole thing is I'm trying to get them back. Um, is this Kevin Gates thing set up, or is it just a YouTube link? Um, that's rude. It was just a Don't play it. Don't play it? Okay. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> that's dun, gross. Dun. Nobody wants to hear it. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> God. God, you're such a dad. You want to hear um, a song, Jeans, about uh, <laughs> um, Bump? Okay. Bump knows his way. This looks ridiculous. Is oh, this yeah. good? Yeah, probably. Probably? Okay. Donald Trump is the man. Let's put our nation. Looks like Whitey Bulger. Into his yeah. hands. Mike Pence and Donald make a great team. Jesus. They'll make our nation the greatest it's been. Team and Bean. They've got the wisdom. Team and Bean. I feel like we've seen this asshole sing songs before. Criminal Clinton ought to go high. That's a serious song. They know our borders. Oh, boy. Oh, here like we go. Sieve. How long has he done this oh for? Criminals love go. <laughs> oh, boy. They'll take us far. <laughs> Donald's got vision. Clear as the day. Please tell me there are not a lot of views. Please. Even in t- 2.3 million. <laughs> We're doomed. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty great. Whew, man. I need to lie down. Yeah, after that, I agree. Depressed. <laughs> what song did you want to go out on? I, um, we did Bird is Fat. Yeah, we did that during the show. How about My Cunt, My Cunt, My Cunt? Yeah? Your 4th of July song? Yeah. You want to hear that? Uh, my fucking cunt. Okay. My cunt, my cunt, my cunt. It's called it's Jeans and My Cunt. Yeah, Jeans and My Cunt. I think it's by Max Newman. Great, the great Max Newman. It's always great. All right. Um, thank you guys for listening. Please check out your mom's house podcast.com. Please go to tomsegura.com. Please go to thousandranch.com. Pull your jeans up through the roof. And we'll see you in a week. Bye bye. Oh, my fucking cut. Cut, we cut, we cut.